Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan Valentine and today we're having another figure unboxing video. One thing you should know about me is that I absolutely love magical girl anime. So today we're going to have a look at a figure of one of my favorite characters from Puella Magi Madoka Magica. If you didn't expect it from me already, yes, it's the girl with the blue hair. So this is a 1-8 scale figure manufactured by Good Smile Company. It is part of a figure series for Puella Magi Madoka Magica the movie, the beginning slash the everlasting. And each one of these figures is based on the original key visual for the movie. This is kind of another late unboxing. This figure came to me in May. She was originally supposed to be out January 2018. Then she got pushed back for April and then finally she got released in May. So yeah, it took a while. Sayaka was my favorite Puella Magi while watching the show and at some point I wanted to get a bigger figure of her. I already had a couple of chibi figures and at some point I wanted to find like a really nice big figure of her to get and when this got announced I really really loved the pose and everything, so I thought this was the one for my collection. Before we go ahead and open the figure, let's have a look at the box. The box is very well designed. It has a frame at the front, so you can see the figure without having to unbox her. I think this is a good feature for people that like to display the figures in their original boxes, which I don't personally do, but if you are the kind of collector that does, I think that this box is going to be a nice little additional feature for you. The box has Sayaka's pastel blue signature color, so around the frame there is this beautiful ornate design, including some notes and a music key. Now Sayaka has a very special relationship with music in the show. It's connected to the reason she becomes a magical girl and some musical elements like treble clefs and notes and keys are also incorporated into her magical girl transformation sequence. So as a Sayaka fan, I'm really happy that they have included this little detail on the box too. The official photography for this figure is absolutely stunning and it sold it to me a hundred percent before I ordered it. We can see this photography featured on the sides of the box. In close-ups and at the back we have the same kind of frame as at the front but this time with the pictures of the figure inside the frame they have this beautiful ombre pastel purple background which I think creates a beautiful contrast to Sayaka's general color palette. I love that there's a variety of textures in the patterns that you see on the box as well. The background is very creative and I think very reminiscent of the actual show and how arty certain parts of the animation have been. So without further ado, let's open this. Whoa! So you can have this kind of cool pastel purple background for her as well if you want to use it. Maybe I will keep it for some crafty things for my room. I really like this. And we have Sayaka in this protective plastic. Cool. So as you're opening up this box, you will find three things. The main body of Sayaka herself, the base and her sword. I'm trying to figure out the way to put the sword in her hand. It seems that the hand it's a little flexible, so you can slip the sword in there. I'm being careful not to break... Uh, I have broken the sword. So the sword is in now, but the blade is broken. I need some super glue for this. I'm gonna see how I can fix this later. A critique on how the sword could be done a bit better would be if this was actually a separate component and it could just click on there and that would be much easier for all of us. <laughs> so a few comments about her overall construction. The pose is so amazing. The way the cape, the skirt, the top are floating, 
it's a very dynamic pose. As a character, she has a strong sense of justice and a very heroic attitude. I think this pose is the best choice they could possibly make for a character like Sayaka. She connects to the base through a single peg point, but it's more than enough to keep the figure in balance. I always struggle with figures with huge bases because it wastes all the space that you have in your surface and you can't put other figures next to them easily. This base is quite convenient for display and it's very elegant. The ombre effect definitely makes a difference. So moving on to the sculpting, the detail is impressive. The outfit, the movement, the face, everything is perfect. One place that a lot of detail has been put into is the hair. It's so well made. The frilly parts of the outfit are also very well made. I have no negative comment on the sculpting whatsoever. The color palette of Madoka as an anime is very pastel. I really like this feature and I think it's being very well represented on this figure. Her face is so beautifully painted, the detail in her eyes, oh my god, and the shadowing in this figure is really impressive. Her hair fade from this really light pastel blue to a darker tone towards the ends and there is cool shadowing around her thigh high socks as well. Overall 9 out of 10. It would be 10 out of 10 but because of the stupid short situation I have to put a flag there and make sure everyone is careful while handling it. Other than that I think this specific figure is the best Miki Sayaka figure that's been released so far because of how much the pose and the dynamic matches the actual character's personality in the show. Alright so that's it for today. Let me know your thoughts if you also have this figure in the comments below. If you like my content don't forget to subscribe so we can all become a big happy alternative otaku family and I'm hoping to see you in my next video. Bye!